Hey everyone, welcome back to Hollow Point Defense. I uh, wanted to just put out or talk about the Olight PL3 Valkyrie, PL3R, it's a rechargeable Valkyrie. Um, this light I got in an interesting way. Some of you may have seen the Olight Osite review I just did. They were happy with it, so I got they got in contact with me to ask if I would try one of their weapon lights. So I did. I took the opportunity to, to use it, so I kind of like to try one anyways. So I got one. I got it on Wednesday, so I was able to use it Wednesday night and Thursday night in a two-day law enforcement night class, uh, one that I was helping teach. So we used it. Uh, there was probably about 14 hours of nighttime shooting that we did, plus or minus maybe 12, but a long time. And I used... This light, the PL3R, the Valkyrie. I used this on this particular gun, the Smith & Wesson MMP competitor for the entire two days. And I really liked it. It was a good light. It, a couple of things that I did like about it. One thing first is the strobe light. Strobe light is something I have never used in 24 years of my career. Working on the law side, never use it. And I don't ever see myself ever using it. Never come across a situation where I need thought I needed to use it. I just don't like them. But the one thing about this, it does have a strobe. You have to push the right and left switches at the same time to get the strobe. So that was nice because I can stay away from the strobe completely. Uh, there's a lot of tricks that you can do on this. We'll just go over a couple real quick. I want to say the base price of this thing was about 99 bucks, 100 bucks which is cheaper than the other brand I was using, which is the TLR1s. And I like these finger switches or push buttons versus that paddle. I broke several of the paddles or had them come loose just because it's just a breakable part. It happens. I'm sure it could happen to these, but I haven't run into that yet, so we're good. The one thing I did like about this light when I was out there is if I press it, there's your low intensity. If I press the button twice, there's high intensity. There's actually two high intensities on it. There's a 1500 lumen, which I was using, which brightened up like four lanes for me. And I was on one lane, of course, but two lanes on each side of me was bright. And then there's a thousand aluminum and the low one is 300 lumens. So let's go back to it. There's your low right there. I'll point it at the camera and then double tap on the switch, and I have 1,000 or 1,500 is what I got. And then double tap it, go back, and tap it once, it turns off. It's fairly simple. It's got momentary on and off, and it's got it to where I can set it and actually leave the light if that should be the case. So there you go, back to high intensity, back, hit it once, turns it off. It can do the same on both sides, so whatever, if you're right or left-handed, it's good for that. So I used it on this one. I really liked it. It was noticed 20, 25 lanes down from me. We were on a 40 lane bay, and I had people ask me how bright that was, because I used the 1500. I wanna say, let me look at my instructions again. If you use 1500s, 1500 lumens, you got about 36 minutes of light. If you use a thousand, you've got about the same and if you do 300 lumens you've got a hundred minutes of light i always kept it on the high intensity one just because i wanted to see how it worked and i had a good time with it i saw everything i wanted to i did use the low intensity on night one wednesday night and it was great it was fine it, i could see through because if you notice i'm using the hollison scs on the competitor I was able to look through that with more than enough light to see what I needed. And we were running anything from 25 yards, or I did. I ran 25 yards, 15, 10, 7, 5, and 3. And all of them, I had enough light to see what I needed to do for those particular drills or what I was doing. So on that aspect, they were really good. The high intensity, of course, I had more than enough light. And uh, even at five and three yards, I saw everything I wanted to see plus some. So if you're looking for a very good weapon light, in my opinion, which I know doesn't count much for a lot of people, 
but if you're looking for a very good light, those PL3Rs or the PL3s, which is a non-rechargeable, would be just fine. Um, it does come with the charging cable like they all do. And you just, it's magnetic. Let me show you. You'll plug it into your USB port, get your light, and just plug it right on like that and let it charge. There you go. Pretty simple. If you want, you take it off, put it on. And the cool thing is, is I have one of those rail switches, the flat switch, for this light too. It goes right on here. And that magnet's not going to pull off, so I'm not too worried about, oh, it's going to fall off when I need it. I'm not worried about that. It'll be fine. It's a pretty strong magnet. But I have that switch. I haven't run it on a rifle yet. I will here, hopefully, in the next couple weeks. And I'll report back on the rifle use of it, and we'll go from there. But if you're looking for the O-lights or looking for a good weapon light, and you don't want to spend a ton of money, you can go to the o light and they're 99 bucks. I had a good time with it. I'm going to run the hell out of this one to see. I've even talked to Olight in the past. I'm talking a year or two ago. They were really good on if you had an issue, just let them know and they, they take care of it. So their warranties are really good. So if you're looking, I'll post a link below to their store and, and Amazon. Get it either way. And uh, let me know what you guys think. I've heard good and bad. I've had nothing but positive experiences with this one. I know it's new, but I see the quality is there. So let me know what you guys think. You guys have a good day. Bye.